What's up, YouTube? This is Mike with Beer Me a Beer, and I'm back with uh, another beer review. Um, I'm going to kick this off with one that uh, I love, and uh, I don't know that a lot of people know about this beer, or even this brewery for that matter. Um, I first uh, found this when I was uh, at a small uh, little indie-ish bar called The Imperial here in downtown Orlando, and uh, they had it on tap. It was fantastic, and uh, I've had a lot of milks and chocolate stouts and... You know, the only ones that I've ever really liked were uh, Sam Adams' Chocolate Bock. So, um, either way, uh, here it is. This is what it looks like. And uh, it's got Left Hand Brewing Company's uh, logo there. It's pretty nice. Cool little logo. Uh, and there's the beer. It's the Milk Stout. Um, <clears throat> doesn't tell you a whole lot on here. It just says Left Hand Brewing Company... Um, that's an interesting enough. It does have a bottled on date, but the space where the bottled on date goes is nothing there. So, who knows? Um, nice little cap. I'll definitely be keeping that guy. So, uh, let's see what <clears throat> Beer Advocate says. Man, it's been a while since I've done this. It's kind of fun. Um, Beer Advocate score gives an 87, of, which is good. Um, the bros, they don't even uh, rank it. Uh, maybe the just never tried it. I don't know. Oh, it says cinema beer. I won't be doing that because I'm going to drink it. Um, ABV is 6.0. It's a sweet stout. And it says to be served in a pint glass or mug and to be stored at 40, yeah, 40 to 45 degrees and serve at 50 to 55. Mm -hmm. Now, it does say that you shouldn't um, keep this, um, let's see, not to yeah, don't keep it for an extended cellaring. So uh, I guess drank it shortly after getting it. Who knows? But either way, uh, here we go. Uh, let's see. I'm actually going to pop it off camera. I don't have a table to set this on. There we go. And I uh, found this glass when I was up in New York City last uh, for New Year's. Beer me. I figured it went well with the with the channel. So uh, here we go. You can give this a nice vigorous pour. It doesn't really uh, produce a ton of head. Uh, actually, almost none. But um, either way, it's very dark in color. Uh, you almost can't even see through it. It's definitely a stout. It's it's. Uh, dark, um, with really light, light caramel colors in there, but uh, really it's just like your average stout. The head is, is uh, as you can see there, it's a nice tan color, um, but there isn't much to it. So uh, here we go, cheers. Boy, that's good. See, it's it's not a chocolate stout. It's definitely like a milky uh, stout, which is nice because the milk kind of breaks that sort of um, burned or ashy flavor that you get out of stouts. Um, the lacing on it is not so great. I mean, it's not terrible. It's lacing like any beer with poor head has. Um, but the flavor is nice. It's definitely, um, it's definitely a stout, and definitely that milk is cutting that stout out a little bit. It's really nice. Um, it almost seems like it varies by bottle. I remember it being a little sweeter than this. Um, so let's see. Um, yeah, it's good. So um, definitely if you can get your hands on it and you like stouts, I definitely say give it a try. Um, it's definitely my favorite stout. Uh, Guinness, you know, this, and Chocolate Bock by Sam Adams, my three favorites that I've ever tried. So uh, if you get a chance, pick it up, try it, and tell me what you think. Uh, I give this uh, one thumb up. Um, a little better head, a little bit more um, carbonation, like a Guinness or something, um, and uh, a bit more, maybe a bit more milk flavor. You know, considering it is a milk stout, would, would bring it up to a two, two thumbs up. But anyway, it's a great beer. Uh, definitely pick it up and uh, let me know what you think. Cheers.